Let's see when you do it, it's going to get better this time. And speed. I mean, you, you do it the relaxed way, not like you trying to rush it. <laughs> Everything's off with the cough. It's faster. But if you rush it, you try to push it. End up just here, losing your momentum. Yeah. You watch the slow mo part of the videos I made. The commentary is that when when you do this kickback, you stop. You kill your momentum to kick. That's what you're doing. Oh, well, in order to kick more. <laughs> we don't want to lose the momentum. When you're doing it really slow, but when you're doing it fast, what Hanjan tells you it's similar. Prep. What Hanjan tells you is you go low and then move, right? When you go low like that, you're harnessing your momentum. You're converting your momentum from this direction, absorbing it in your legs down, using it to move when you don't go low like what you do, bam, you stop, you kill the momentum. Then you need to generate the power again. That is the main difference. In, but I'm just trying to make it. At the slower speed, it looks like you go pop and go. But when you do it fast, you don't. You want the momentum. Notice that I don't jump here, jump here. So the jump there gives you more time. If the smash is really sharp, you need more time, you need to be here. If the smash is very strong, strong won't be here. Slices will be here, slices will be here. Or even here. But yours is a slice chop, not a slice smash. Here. Here. I think my, even my hand reaches. No racket. You, you try it. You have to get that momentum thing. Doubles. Yeah, doubles. Yeah, that's a bit better. Don't stand there, okay? Just put your feet together with the momentum. Put your feet together. Bend down. Don't have this. Go. Yes, that's it. It's, just, it's this. It's this jump. This jump, man. Yeah? Not this jump, man. Not this. Not that. This. This jump. Not the stamp jump. The absorb bounce back jump. Not that. That's what gym class will teach you. No, that's not what we want. What we want is this stamp jump. This absorbing jump. With, this, with one leg, you can't fight it. With two legs, you'll fight it. This is the absorption. When you do this, what are you doing? You're absorbing the bounce, picking it back up. Yeah. But if you, let's say you don't bend your knee. This is that jump. I say like the exercise. The ones they tell you to do is do this. Absorb, absorb. This is the no absorb one. Yes. Trains your brain to recognize the momentum. Man, I'm out of breath for this damn cough. This cough is killing me. Alright, let's go again. Further distance. Don't 
lose the momentum. Use it. A little bit lower. Yeah. Lower, you can get the shots with your low. Okay, let's go. You're gonna get that. Okay, I won't, I won't give you that. Let's go. Let me know what's wrong. Oh. Now I'm not gonna look too much at your footwork there because you're afraid of throwing the shuttle. Okay, let's try both sides then. With the shuttle, it should be easier. Catch your breath. Okay, ready? Alright, I gotta slow down. I didn't realize how slow you are with recovering. That is fine. We're connecting. Backhand side is a bit easy. Yeah, it's more like this. Well, you're, you're instantly converting it into a turn. Turn. You're not stopping. The forehand side, then you will stop. It's like not to stop. It is. It's not your normal instinct. If it's your normal instinct, if you're not bounded by what you're holding in terms of racket, you just go there. Like, oh, I'm gonna go there. But you're holding the racket, you're right. So then what? And it becomes unnatural. Okay, let's go. See how easy it is? Sorry. Alright, no drop shot. Oh fuck, I hit this, I gotta throw like this. I for keep forgetting that I throw like American football stuff. Water back. <laughs> <laughs> 